guys welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are gonna learn how we can use the create read uh, update and delete operation with the mysql so let's get started first of all just uh, here you can see that i just, just put a view here so i'm going to delete it and just echo something like start with db okay oops i think i just forgot to put the semicolon here all right so now just uh, first of all let's see how we can make a connection in the laravel so for that just go to your configuration folder of the laravel and just click on the database and here you will find the many kind of configuration like the uh, by default connection environment this is the mysql and connections here you will find the mysql light connection mysql connection easy connection and sql server connection so we will learn uh, it with the mysql so just go to the mysql and here you have to look out the three uh, main key points which is database name username and the password input and just put your database name here and username and password if you don't have any kind of password then put it the blank so now just open your php my admin and here you can see that i have a table name i have a database name with the laravel and is a table with the test so let's get started with this and just we set up the this look out these points and after that you are able to connect it connect with the database and I just make a controller here with the show function and if you if you guys are don't know about the controllers and uh, controllers how we can set up the controllers and watch out the previous tutorials they are very simple so now just come here come to back on the point and I just write and after that you have to uh, include your uh, database library which is which is uh, placed in the illuminate sport and the fecades and the db folder okay db file okay and now just start just take a variable and first of all we will perform the insert operation and just use the db class with a scope resolution method use the insert method and simply write your insert query like insert into my table name is test and just write here the column names my first column name is id second one is name and third one name is email address all right and after that just put the value here values and in this value you must have to use uh, the question mark why because they will prevent you from the SQL injections and this is of the security purpose and just put them and in the second parameter of the insert function take an array and put the value in the sequence like my ID should be 5 uh, name should be Kelly uh, take it as the string and the email as is oops Kelly at the day test.com all right put the semicolon at the end and echo your data and it should be one one means true and because if the database insert the uh, it the function will return the true so let's just hit it and you will see the one here that means the result is inserted and let's see in the database just refresh it and you can see that kelly is on the five ids placed here all right guys and just after that we will going to use the update operation for update operation just use dollar data and use the same class with the update function 
in the update function is right here update query like update table name set name equal to uh, just change to the Kali to Kali okay Mia Kali all right and where id equal to 5 not you have to put the question mark and just take the second parameter with the array of update function and write here id here all right so just look at again the command update test set the name mia kelly where id equal to 5 okay so just refresh it once more and the update here and let's see the result now and you can see that Mia Kelly is the place of ID all right guys so we just do two things very successfully and now just use the third one which is the data equal to DB and use the delete function and right here delete from the table name is test where ID equal to question mark and take as a second parameter of id like 5 all right and just refresh it once more okay so query give the result one and just check out here so we have only just two entries here because we just delete this third entry and now just perform the select operation we can call it the read also it's equal to db select function and write a select query select star from the table name is test all right and now we have to use the print r function because uh, we have the lots of data here with the form of array and you cannot going to handle the array okay just 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 refresh your page and you can see that we got the two the both results from the here and just you can try the change something from the here and refresh it John Cena should be John for now okay so we, op we successfully done the all operations in the next video we will gonna learn how we can do the login and the login should be perfectly like with a session with the form and with the database okay guys thanks for watching this video and don't forget forget to subscribe our channel and please give a thumbs up on the video and if you have any kind of suggestion then put me it, then put it in the comment box thanks guys thanks for watching this video